joke that Redlands loves Redlands. It's a, it's, a, it's a community with a lot of local pride and it also has very high standards for excellence. It's, it's a great community to work in because it's constantly challenging us to, to put a good product out there, a better product, and at the same time the community of Redlands really cares about building into the communities. Our goal is to, to make a transaction a transformation. Repeated transactions of cups of coffee in the community turn into transformation in a local community by lives being changed, uh, both from the consumer end, taking part in that process, and the end user, which would be the, the recipient of the food at the food bank. That desire to use what we have for good is not localized to Redlands. I believe it's part of the human condition. Deep inside every one of us, we want to use and make a difference and make an impact and do something good. And so we've seen um, cafes all over Southern California get really excited about the mission of Wild Goose because it's a simple act that can do really a, a huge amount of good through, through one very simple transaction. When I was teaching, I set up an espresso bar at a back to school night just for fun. And what was remarkable to me is that all of a sudden I saw my colleagues standing around and having a conversation because they had a, a coffee in their hand. There's something about this that makes me feel very vulnerable to you and I'm uncomfortable and so I'm going to try to get out as quick as I can. But when I have this, I have something I can hide behind and now I'm more willing to stand and talk. What's beautiful about that is I saw a room full of my colleagues engaged in conversation like I had never seen before, ever. It really opened my eyes to the magic that a cup of coffee can have in building community. the sweetness of the coffee. That's kind of our hallmark flavor. So the analogy I give to people is if you take a green apple and slice it, typically people will, will taste uh, bitter, tart, etc. If we start cooking the green apple, then you start releasing the sugars in that. And so we try to roast where you can still taste the green apple with the sweetness that gets released. So if you cook a green apple, sweetness is released, tartness decreases a little bit. We like to find that balance of, of, uh, of flavors. So that's kind of the, the typical wild goose flavor there. Every pound of coffee that is sold provides 10 pounds of food to a local food bank. And so that's where our one equals 10 comes from. Um, every cafe, the giving is localized. So this is a cafe here in Redlands. A lot of the cafes we supply are outside of the Redlands area. And those cafes are supplying food into their local neighborhoods. So for us, that makes the coffee process very dynamic, where a customer can come in knowing that their purchase is providing food to families in need in their local community, no matter how far away they are from Redlands proper. So I really believe that, that people, anybody, can make an impact, in a, in a pretty big one, if they're willing to um, have the courage to step forward. And, and a lot of times that, that can be daunting, but it's, uh, it's worth it. Celtic farmers, you know, in the olden times, would go hunting wild geese. The pursuit of the wild goose would, would uh, lead them on crazy, unpredictable adventures, and they'd sit around the campfire at night and share of their hunting exploits as though it were this grand adventure. It's 320,000 pounds of food. That's so cool. Isn't that so cool? Yes, thank you. Oh my gosh, that's they awesome. They soon made it an homage to God, chasing after the wild goose will lead you on crazy, unpredictable adventures that will far exceed your imaginations. And my personal journey with this business has been that nothing has gone according to script, but everything has been way, way better than I could have written myself. And so, um, hence the name Wild Goose.